stream. Let's just get a confirmation. And there we are. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the live stream. Today is July 19th, 2020. And we're doing another comic book reading. We did one last Sunday, actually. We read Excalibur number one. It was a fantastic read uh, from Marvel Comics. Chris, Chris Claremont and uh, Alan Davis, I believe. Excalibur, Alan Davis. Yes, Alan Davis and Paul Neary. Okay, so that was a really fun read. And uh, what I ended up doing, on try today, so how are you doing? Hey, Chicho, hope all is well. Doing good, brother, doing good. I hope you're doing well as well. Um, just after the discussion on Discord, right? But what I ended up doing, um, because one of our mods, Elder God, pointed out that all the other comics that we had here were sort of heavier reads. So I replaced Excalibur number one because we have, we're going to work our way through all of these comics. So we had a hole with Excalibur number one through the six choices. So I included Mario Brothers number one from Valiant Comics. <laughs> Okay, added a light read to this. Uh, aside from that, uh, while we wait for people to start rolling in, uh, Twitch notifications sometimes slow going out. Um, let me give everybody an intro that's going to be watching this after the live stream. I know you're watching this on Charter Days, so that's fine. Um, but if you want to find out who I am, where I'm, uh, where I'm sort of hosting a lot of content, and how you can support this project and follow this work, Patreon is uh, a great way. Uh, to follow this work is a great way to support this work. Okay, patreon.com backslash chicho. On Charter Days, this situation is sort of in limbo at the moment. Just need to wait and see. Wait, Waiting and seeing, going slow is the best thing to do on Charter Days, really. No Twitch notifications so far. Okay, Elder God, thanks. Woohoo, Spider-Man, how you doing? These are mods rolling in right now. Uh, so if you want to follow this work, you want to support this work, now it came, now it came. okay so it's uh, it's gone out i'm so excited same here notice this i replaced uh excalibur number one with uh my pleasure uh on charter days my pleasure okay i replaced it with mario super mario with his number one hey elder okay sweet uh notifications are going out people are coming in uh i'll finish off with the intro and we get to the chat uh because we're gonna run a poll to find out which comic book everybody wants to read uh but again if you want to follow this work if you want to support this work patreon is a fantastic way to do so, to do so patreon.com backslash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o okay um, ba -ba -ba. we are live streaming on twitch if you want to participate in these live streams Twitch is where you want to be at. And it's a great community we've got here. It's fantastic. Lots of fun and uh, lots of participation, which is really good. A lot of people helping each other out. Spider-Man hosting. Woo -hoo. Um, as far as uh, following this work on other platforms, I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Twitter, Gabs, Minds, VK, LO, and Parlor okay and we do share some additional information on uh, those platforms as well and all the links will be in the description of this video uh, a lot of the streams where we don't have any visuals that are in play we will be uploading the audio to soundcloud uh, these readings i've decided not to load on soundcloud because it's a comic book reading uh, we could maybe at some point go back and reload everything um, but I'm mainly going to focus on the open discussions that we have, maybe economics, politics, music, movies coming up, and whatnot. Okay, and we will be uploading uh, this stream to both BitChute and YouTube. And if you are on YouTube, if you have the means, you can support this project by joining YouTube membership. Okay, and uh, that's basically the platforms that I'm very active on. And all the links w again will be in the description of this video if you want to follow the work and whatnot okay aside from that i'm going to take these notifications down because i tend to forget every now and then boop 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 let's get to some comic book reading i'm just going to catch on chat chat randall how are you doing how is life i saw a couple other people pop in void how is life brother let's go Woo -hoo. 
I am Bond James Bond 007. Oh, yeah, the 007. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Slick Mick 99. Hey, Elder Man. Hey, Spider Man. It's always good to have the boys here. Yeah, we need the mods every now and then. School's out. A lot of weak trolls are active. <laughs> right i've been getting those rolling in sort of towards the end uh mods sharpening their swords so gang take a look at this thing okay i'm not sure how many people are here yet uh we usually give people about 10 minutes to roll in and we'll run a poll let's say in 10 minutes in another five minutes we're going to run a poll okay comic books we got a uh, choice to read okay watch your dolma video so nice I have to try it myself. Thank you. My pleasure, James Bond. And it was fantastic. It fed us for like three, four days. It fed us. And we also gave some to family, just one family member a little bit and shared a couple uh, with other people. So uh, it was it was really good. <laughs> like cook for one day, eat for four. Pretty good and healthy and food that we're sort of growing ourselves sort of the core ingredient of it 22 humans do we know they're humans are we sure they're humans 22 is good for me five is good for me one is good for me reading a comic book <laughs> gang i gave sort of full intro to all these books except the mario brothers number one in the last stream so i'm going to save us some time and just go through these speedy gonzalez i won't give the full details four are choices of comic books to read we got the cult batman the cult with jim starlin bernie wrightson and bill ray okay let's find out hey let's find out asmr how are you doing gang if you want to follow asmr channel let's find out uh asmr is a f he does some amazing work and informative okay i don't know i don't think uh, let's find out is on live streaming on twitch yet but uh, i'm pretty sure you will be hey chicho i've been bringing on mario uh speed run videos on youtube what a coincidence really what is that what you've been doing oh thanks man. no i'm not you're not yet uh i you should find your way here brother it's a different it's a different uh platform different interaction um offers a certain amount of freedom that we do not get on youtube and it's always good to decentralize right just in case youtube goes full draconian and says whatever it says who knows what youtube's gonna say right jack how are you doing hey chicho happy to be here happy to have you man happy to have you we got to do mario that sounds amazing mario for oh my god already everyone wants mario people want the light light reads graham how are you doing let's find out <laughs> Hi, wow. Awesome, Cheryl. You know, let's find out. He does fantastic work. And another, um, you know, male ASM artist that's uh, more on the educational uh, ASMR uh, sort of format. Uh, so if you like that kind of work, sort of uh, same type of work that I do, but uh, he's, he's uh, better versed than... Uh, better informed regarding certain topics that's for sure okay uh he's you know you do want to follow you do want to follow strange i was watching hitman blood money <coughs> do plan asmr do plan asmr gaming yeah for sure we will be no i mean watching a lot of uh, speed run videos oh okay i agree with decentralization susan w has made me very weary is that the ceo of the youtube yeah <laughs> is that the one let's find out yeah i watched an interview with her it was like cringeworthy i was like okay i need to seriously yeah yeah i need to seriously uh not put your eggs in her basket <laughs> she's she'll crack them all man she'll crack them all right they pushed our school to all virtual for three weeks we will see what happens further. Wow, wow, wow. Elder God, you're doing evil. So gang, the comic books we've got on choice to read. Batman the Cult, number one. It was a miniseries prestige format. Came out in 1988. Bernie Wrightson, Jim Starlin, Bill Ray. We got Alan Moore and David Lloyd's 
V for Vendetta. Okay, first published in black, black and white in Warrior Number no. One in 1982, I believe, in 1982, and it was published through DC Comics in color format in 1988. Super Mario Brothers Number no. One from Valiant Comics, published in April 1990. Okay, we can definitely read this. XO number one published by Valiant Comics in 1991. Is it 1991? I got a list in 1992. Okay, first appearance of XO Man of War. We got Crime Does Not Pay published in 1952. Okay, and it's got a story about John Dillinger. And we got Kit Colt. Okay, published in 1962 jack kirby cover stan lee story okay graham thanks for the bits <laughs> hey chicho hannah how are you doing i want an afternoon walk today in the sun very nice yeah it's very sunny here i will definitely be going for a walk after after a reading i'm gonna make some strawberry jam by the way today uh i gotta i'll share a picture uh i went and bought we bought a flat of strawberries to make liqueur and it's a flat so it's a lot of strawberry so i'm gonna make some strawberry jam today i was gonna live stream it but it's it, it's too much to live stream this live stream liqueur tomorrow live stream <laughs> jam making i'll be burnt out for the other stuff so uh i'll take pictures of the strawberry jam and show it to you guys um when you're making jam by the way the strawberries we got are really ripe so you really don't want ripe fruit to make jam because it doesn't have enough pectin in it right so it becomes liquidy but it is what it is we'll use it more as a syrup for pancakes and ice cream and yogurt and breakfast right been trying to pick up a copy of batman the cult you know what uncharted is batman the cult it's it was more expensive when i like in the early 90s than it is now batman the cult you should be able to get fairly cheap okay for now anyway you could have like a few months ago you could have picked up a set of batman the cult one two three and four for like 10 bucks canadian even or us right uh in very fine condition as well i didn't know valiant did mario for sure spider-man valiant did here i'll show you this these are my valiant comic book i'll show you this before we run the poll we've got to run the poll here's valiant special edition number one here's valiant mario brothers number two here's zelda number one here is captain n number one and here's super mario brothers second series number one okay i got these on the side just in case these come up so to show you guys the covers of these okay i want to be the uh the band leader nice crowd cheryl how are you doing oh man i wasn't able to get a flat of strawberries to make jam this year so jealous yeah we got the actually there were two different types we got the small ones the last batch of the small ones and there's a new batch of larger strawberries coming out and the larger ones would probably be better for jam but we ended up picking up a flat they gave us a good deal we go to this farm regularly usually it's like 60 bucks but this was the last so they were really ripe they gave it to us for 50 dollars canadian and she goes what are you guys going to use it for we said we're going to make liqueur and jam so they threw in a bunch more <laughs> so they loaded it up it's nice to build connections locally i can honestly tell you this okay another busy day in the pub finished on seven thousand pounds is a jeebus people are drinking their asses off elder god is sunday life going to match seriously books have been going up so much so much mystery first app will not go down jay how are you doing mario had comics valiance did first mario comics as far as i know those books look amazing are we going to read those on stream only mario i was choosing between mario i'll give you the lowdown on those stuff later once we hit up you know if we decide to read mario now or in the future uh what i know of them anyway right smith how are you doing the man the legend 
I only have a team leader. Ba ba ba. What's up, guys? Okay, let's create a poll. Okay, a stream at a good time again. Let's go. Woo -hoo. Now, it mods. Do you guys want to do a poll? Uh, do this, or should I set this up? Uh, Zari did it last time, and that was super sweet. Zari doing it, and I didn't realize uh, we could do polls. Uh, and I I looked at it before we started the stream, and there was only five places five spots to run the poll i couldn't find six so we might have to decrease the number of books we read hey chicho how you doing eileen king divinity how are you doing just pop in and say hello catholic traditionalist how are you doing welcome welcome and hello i saw the ballet pictures awesome she can pretty high level let's see I, mods do you want to do you guys want to look into the poll do you know how to do i think we click on uh, chat settings or you go backslash poll twitch poll is five for more you got to go on a website okay so gang first order of business which splash poll splash poll i don't know what a splash poll is i know you go backslash poll in twitch so here's a question which one of these books don't we want to read first I can't do it my mobile doesn't exo exo you don't want to have in the mobile, <laughs> or I'm assuming that that's the one you want to read Bram so if we're gonna do the poll on twitch we gotta eliminate just going Mario oh my god please <laughs> I want exo you want exo okay gang I'm gonna make an executive decision here and I'm gonna remove one of these what is the last two the last two are these guys crime does not pay okay it's john dillinger okay and it's from 1952 and we got kit colt let me do it here kit colt and stanley story okay jack keller most of the story in here most of the artwork in here and dick hairs with a jack kirby cover okay we should do a poll okay gang you know what i'm gonna take out crime does not pay too heavy let's keep it out for now okay V for vendetta or kid cold for me for keeping in mario for okay gang i'm taking crime does not pay out people are already putting their votes in so let's run a poll with the following let's do the poll action instead of me doing a count because the poll worked out well um uh, spider-man can you do do you want to do pull it pull it let's do it we got five choices sorry john dillinger you're a bad guy you're out <laughs> i can't do a poll i think you might have to okay i'm gonna do it i can do the poll you can do the poll grab that'd be awesome i can hold on okay awesome cheryl graham go ahead okay graham you do and let's say we give uh I'll, we've been going at this for eight minutes i know there's a you can put a 10 minute time in there let's make it five minutes we don't need to wait 10 minutes we've already been going uh, we've been already streaming for uh, 18 minutes right now yeah I'm on mobile okay Alan Moore is dark but interesting for sure the cult is um, is Batman which is cool which comic should we read the polls up gang I'm not gonna vote I'm doing a reading Super Mario is very family oriented and late uh, and late EXO is action and sci-fi heavy yeah right so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull down the poll. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Mario's already at six. <laughs> so, hilarious. <laughs> Mario is ahead of the pack by <laughs> a long shot. <laughs> Thank you, Graham. By the way, for sure. Viva Vendetta coming up at number three. Okay, we got one for the rest. <laughs> batman's at number two two v for vendetta is catching up with number four four votes but mario's mario's eight right now my oh my head of the pack head of the pack we should do a betting on this gang we should run some kind of <laughs> money pool on this hilarious <laughs> vegas vegas would run a th seriously too funny too funny so cult 
Heavy, dark. V for Vendetta, heavy, dark. Mario, come on, Mario is Mario. XO Man of War, sci-fi. Okay, action-packed. Oh, V for Vendetta is up to a number, up to five. XO is two. Okay. XO sci-fi, fantastic first appearance. And there's a first appearance here as well. And Mario, I believe that's the first comic book, Mario. Okay, so first appearance for Mario. Oh, V for Vendetta is six. Six people going for V for Vendetta. We got eight, six, two, two, and one for Kit Colt. Mario is too childish for me. Well, we haven't read it. We don't know. We don't know. Oh, we got seven for V for Vendetta. V for Vendetta is catching up to Mario. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Look at this, look at this. We're going down to the wire, gang. We're going to go down to the wire. Let me read the comments. Let's see what's going on. I voted twice. <laughs> Could you? I thought you could only vote once. <laughs> Let's go, Mario. Chelsea beating man. Uh, if it... Semi final. Oh, Chelsea beating Manchester United. It, it's the semi final right now. Wow, wow, wow. Thanks, Graham. You're the man with the plan. Yeah. Okay, okay. If you read it in Lou, uh, Albano Alba, voice or put a rubber <laughs> band in your beard. I'll totally go for Super Mario. Hilarious, Cheryl. I said it for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes. We got 10 minutes, so we got a few more minutes to go with this. 10 minutes by accident. But we can cut it out early in the in the run up. That's okay. We do ten. Oh, look at this! V for Vendetta is up nine. V for Vendetta has taken over Mario. Look at this! Look at this! Mario's losing out. Mario, Mario Kart. This is like Mario Kart. He's got to get himself some kind of uh, powers. Fire away. He should have used banana peels when he was ahead to throw v for vendetta off track it didn't happen it didn't happen oh my v for vendetta look at this look at this we got nine for v for vendetta let's see what's gonna happen i just finished reading the second book in the dune series today beginning the third one soon i'm so immersed in the universe awesome jacoby i still haven't read the second book yet where is the poll i think the poll if you on top of the chat um you should be able to see it it should say which comic book do you want to vote for and then you click on it oh we got a tie it's a tie nine and nine mario and v for vendetta oh my what's it gonna be is it gonna be a chicho tiebreaker what are we gonna do about this if it, oh mario takes a head 10 for 11 for mario 11 for mario bring out the banana peels v goes up to 10. oh my god it's, it's a horse race they're neck to neck oh what's going on where's the time oh the time is it's counting down i guess we got another five minutes or so to go down on the time right we got 11 we got 10 two two one okay oh my oh my i'm just gonna catch up with the chat again tomorrow is too childish Aaron. no 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 <laughs> oh boy oh my god 50 pound reward for v, <laughs> 50 pound reward for v. <laughs> are you trying to bribe a chicho tiebreaker vote what's going on i'm on mobile and watching on ps4 awesome void yes rendell says oh v there i hope <laughs> cheryl says what are we at now no it's still 11 and 10 11 and 10 11 and 10 how many people have we got casting votes 5 15 we've got 26 people have casted votes so far we got 46 45 people 46 45 people watching right now so gang oh look at this v for vendetta goes to 12 that's a serious pull does a serious pull forward look at this look at this look at this who's got the momentum who's got the momentum who's got the momentum i 
I lost, I lost, I lost. 0% win. <laughs> Thought I'd throw my vote in for V. Okay, visually interesting. Fun, fun. Grab is going, no, where's the Mario at? How is everyone doing good here, man? Thank you very much. Don't make me bring in all my alts to vote. <laughs> Smith, if, if it's allowed, if it's allowed, right? If the algorithm allows you to do alts to votes, it's a loophole. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, any system that provides a loophole like that, as long as you're not screwing over individuals, right? Um, being totally destructive, uh, it's okay. It's like a you're filing taxes. Right? <laughs> the high chancellor can see your vote. The, uh, the high chancellor can see your vote. I'm PayPaling. Five dollars to people who vote Mario for now. On. <laughs> Void. <laughs> Ring in the system. Hilarious. V for victory. Hopefully, I saw V for Vendetta on the list. Yep, that's one of my favorite movies. Indeed, it's fantastic. I feel blind. I can't see the poll. Oh no, J. Albert. Let me give you an update. Let me give you an update. Oh, we're 13 at V and Mario's coming up at 12. Void must have paid somebody $5. <laughs> These guys are way behind, way behind the pack, way behind the pack. We've got two leaders right now. 13 for V, 12 for Mario. Okay, 13 and 12. And by the way, this Mario copy is mint plus plus it's a beautiful copy and we're gonna read it it's my only copy if i had a secondary copy we would read it read the secondary copy but we sacrifice a 9.8 or a 10 grading for a comic book reading i'm just putting out there and if we don't read it today we'll read it another day right no worries no worries 13 12 2 2 1 okay 13 12 2 two one kit colt is way behind he's got a bad horse man the monster must have affected the horsey right i'm putting 100 on kit Colt. <laughs> come on pink money smith <laughs> the payout would be huge the storm outside my house right now is insane nice lightning i hope you get the facilitator in me wants to know everyone's rationale on the worst way this is great then. Terrest terrestrial downpour. 100, 100 pounds now. <laughs> Hilarious. What are we at? Still, still 13 and 12. And we're coming down to the wire, gang. There's probably another minute left. Oh, V is pulling up. V is pulling up. V is at 14. V is at 14, gang. Oh my, oh my. Look at this. Look at this. 44% of the vote is for V oh 13 for mario oh and v goes ahead more even 15 15 and 13 and we got a reading of uh i did a whisper reading of valerie's letter on youtube on this oh mario's at 14 look at this it's almost almost a tie coming down last few seconds gang 16 v is pulling forward 15 mario's going mario's going for it. oh and v wins with 16 votes that's it v takes it 16 for v for vendetta 15 for mario 2 for uh batman 2 for exo and 1 for kit cold that is surprising that is fantastic awesome 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 maybe a good time to test rank choice boy <laughs> maybe a good time <laughs> who's taking the bets awesome next time we'll vote using channel points yeah you could it has that option yes sacrifice it looked like a money book nice yay cow <laughs> Cheryl says vote Mario now and extend your life by 25 minutes offer only available today don't miss out <laughs> void says time out thank you very much for the twitch prime sub visually interesting vote Mario now 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 Graham says Ven Vendetta gang rise up ah. <laughs> 
<laughs> the action. If Mario loses, they're going to have a vendetta against our V for Vendetta voters. Hilarious. So close. So close. Rigged. Why? V for victory. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Too funny. That was way more exciting than that. <laughs> Why is good as so on? Funny. Vote Mario just for the tie up. Uh, break the system. Huzzah. For Mario rigged. <laughs> I will be you guys later. <laughs> Let's take this down. Good thing. I had a 15. Uh, alter counts. You had 15 alter counts, Karen. Hilarious. V for victory. We can have Mario next time. Yeah, we can have. And I'm not going to add another book for next time. So next time, we're going to have these choices, okay, to vote for. And uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll add more or just go with one more or less or whatnot. So these five are going to be our next choices. Okay. For now, though. V for Vendetta. Let's do this, gang. Let me put these guys aside here on my side table. Nice. I did a bunch of research this morning for uh, the Mario book because uh, there's a few things I didn't know about it. I had to figure it out. I want to know if Mario finds the princess. Mario does find the princess, but Bowser comes and takes her again. <laughs> or is she in another? Is she in another uh, uh, castle? Can you read me the last page? Smith says, "You guys got me totally, totally laughing my ass off. Hilarious game. Too funny. The electoral college was not involved in this vote, or else the cult <laughs> would have won or something." Batman definitely has it next time. Visually interesting says the Russians hacked the vote. <laughs> Comrade cosmonaut. It's like com comic Christmas. Too funny, gang. Too funny. I'm like sweating laughing so hard. Oh Coolio, thank you very much for taking care of business. Oh look at this. What is this? I'm gonna ban this guy. Let's see. Oops. Yeah, well, how do we do this? Let, oh, oh. Let's kill this. Make sure my chat. Beat me. I'm gonna ban this guy too. That's a spammer. Take him out, take him out. Who is Mario? Who is Mario? Okay, gang, let's do this. So, <clears throat> we're 30 minutes in. The poll took us a while, <laughs> but it was a good horse race. <laughs> Fun. Message is gone. Black for everyone. I, I still see chat. Yeah, I took out Vood. I took out uh, Vasi with a bio, by viewers or something. That's just either auto spam or some guy trying to collect two cents per click or something. Not me. Though if this storm keeps up, okay. You might have to reload Elder God. I'm going to take down notifications. <coughs> <clears throat> when a message uh when you ban a user uh all their messages get deleted i'm pretty sure that's the way it works right <clears throat> i'm gonna take down chat so you won't see the chat popping up so we don't get uh interference in the reading okay i'm gonna take this video down and i'll come back after we do the reading to uh, see what the discussion is okay so let me take down uh, my video I'm working as well so I'll multitask okay
take care of uh, take care of your customers elder god they're there for a reason they need refreshments they need to de-stress and uh, I'll make sure the chat is off the chat is off okay gang <coughs> let's do a reading so gang we're in our next comic book reading and this book v for vendetta is one of the comic books that we chose to read in comic book uh, reading set number four i believe this was one of the choices that uh, the viewers made the subscribers made okay and uh, it's one of your choices to read and we just uh, did a poll of five other comics in sort of a horse race on twitch and it was uh it was a horse race it was it was it, it went right down to the wire we had 16 votes for v for vendetta to be read and 15 votes for mario brothers number one to be read okay and v for vendetta won and this is alan moore okay and david lloyd's v for vendetta now the black and white version of the story appeared in warrior number one it was a uk comic book magazine uh that came out in 1982 okay and that was a black and white version and this is the colored version that came out in the united states through dc publications okay under the it was it, vertigo wasn't in play right now they just said suggested for mature readers if you can see this it says suggested for mature readers i believe vertigo it was 1991 uh, 1991 1990 1992 that vertigo the imprint came out uh through dc comics and most of the mature titles they printed under vertical comics right so this is pre-vertical and this came out in 1988 okay now if you've been following my work some of the comic book uh, videos i've been putting out i did a whisper reading of valerie's letter from v for vendetta now valerie's letter i it doesn't appear in this issue okay i don't believe so anyway i read this a long long time ago so it doesn't appear here valerie's letter appears more in the middle of the series and this is number one out of 12 okay uh, out of sorry out of 10 issues right so we're gonna have a read through this book and this is a classic and if you know your movies this has come out uh, as a movie and it is sort of a cult after the movie came out it became a cult icon really that is being used by anonymous and uh, during a lot of protests against the uh, centralized power okay centralized capital and this is the mask that a lot of people are wearing right but we won't go into the politics of it even though v for vendetta is very much about the politics of it with amazing storytelling okay so let's crack this open and have a read through v for vendetta v for vendetta <coughs> and just to let you know one more little bit of info about this the warrior uh the issues that appeared in warrior comics okay they were basically reprinted in color in this series right but from issue number eight of the series there are new stories that were uh new material that was being printed right so this series from number one to number ten from number one to number seven i believe is the reprint in color of what was printed in warrior comics warrior magazine from the uk and then from number issue number eight nine and ten is brand new stories and uh coolio one of the mods on chat is mentioning that this is guy fox's mask okay what v for vendetta wears to protect his identity let's say okay cool and elder god one of our other mods is mentioning that the gang on the people that are 
uh, watching on Twitch right now live are mentioning that we are living uh, through V right now, right? And as far as the grade for this book goes, it would definitely be, I mean, I'm just giving a, getting the reflection off the lights. There is, if you run your finger on the comic, oh, there's a little bit of, I'm just going my finger all the way down. So there's a little bit of a thingamajiggy on there. Where was it? A little bit, but it, the color hasn't broken or anything, right? I don't know if you can see it. Let's check it out. Let's see if it focuses. There we go. See that? Uh, maybe the color has broken a little bit, right? So I would grade this at near mint minus just from the cover. And here's a back cover. I mean, I'll show you the picture of this. I'm just checking the grade on this. I'm going to run the finger past this again. No, no creases there. The edges are sharp. Uh, there's a little bit of, and these vertical comics with V and DC comics, the edges of these things had that effect, right? So we're, we would definitely grade this as, uh, or I would grade this as, and this is a great gatefold cover. Check this out. I'm going to open this up for you guys. So you see it, right? Um, check this out right <clears throat> beautiful right. and the cover is done by David Lloyd let's have a read through this oh beautiful check this out we're definitely going to read this okay and this is alan moore <coughs> oops this is alan moore written a little intro to v for vendetta on March 1988 from Northampton I'm just gonna read the fine print and then we're gonna read uh, the letter to this uh, okay I'm gonna this requires a tilt so I'm gonna unfortunately I'm gonna tilt it this way so I can read it properly okay V for Vendetta uh, one published monthly by DC Comics Incorporated 666 Fifth Avenue a lot of stories to be had with 666 Fifth Avenue, New York, New York, 10103, copyright 1988, DC Comics Incorporated, all rights reserved. The stories, characters, and incidents mentioned in this magazine are entirely fictional. All, all characters featured in this issue and the distinctive likeliness thereof are trademarks of DC Comics Incorporated. V for Vendetta, book one, chapter one to four, four first published 1982 in the united kingdom by quality communications limited dc comics inc a warner communication company printed in canada okay and let's read alan moore's little write up here as to why he began v for vendetta <clears throat> I began V for Vendetta in the summer of 1981 during a working holiday upon the Isle of Wright. White. My youngest daughter, Amber, was a few months old. Few months old. I finished, uh, I finished it in the late winter of 1988 after a gap in publishing of nearly five years from the discontinuation of England's Warrior magazine its initial home amber is now seven i don't know why i mentioned that it's just one of those unremarkable facts that strike you suddenly 
with unexpected force so that you have to go and sit down <clears throat> along along what along with marvel man now miracle man v for vendetta represents my first attempt at a continuing series began at the outset of my career for this reason among amongst others there are things that ring oddly in uh, earlier episodes when judged in the light of the strips later development i trust you'll bear with us during any initial clumsiness and share our our openness that it was for the best to show the early episodes unrevised warts and all rather than go back and eradicate all trace of youthful creative inexperience there is also a certain amount of political experience upon my part evident in these early episodes back in 1981 the term nuclear winter had not passed into common currency and although my guess about cli um, climatic upheaval came pretty close to the eventual truth of the situation the fact remains that the story to hand to hand that the story to hand suggests that a nuclear war even a limited one might be survivable to the best of my current knowledge this is not the case naivety can also be detected in my superposition that it would take something as melodramatic as a near miss nuclear conflict to nudge england towards fascism although in fairness to myself and david there were no better or more accurate predictions of our country's future available in comic form at the time the simple fact that much of the historical background of the story proceeds from a predicted conservative defeat in the 1982 general election should tell you how reliable we were in our role as cassandras it's 1988 now margaret thatcher is entering her third term of office and taking con confident and talking confidently of an unbroken conservative leadership well into the next century my youngest daughter is seven and the tabloid press are circulating the idea of concentration camps for persons with aids the new riot police wear black visors as do their horses and their vans have rotting video rotating video cameras mounted on top the government has expressed the desire to eradicate homosexuality even as an abstract concept and one can only speculate as to which minority will be the next legislated against i'm thinking of taking my family and getting out of this country soon sometime over the next couple of years it's sometimes in the next couple of years it's cold and it's mean spirited and i don't like it here anymore good night england good night good night home service and v for victory hello hello the voice of fate and v for vendetta okay signed alan moore northampton march 1988 <clears throat> Alan, uh, what does it say? <laughs> Camera having a hard time focusing. By Alan Moore and David Lloyd. Color artist David Lloyd, Sephan Dodd, lettering Jerry O'Connor, Steve Craddock. Jordan Tower. And I don't know if this is a real name of a tower in the, in London or not. Dark 
coloring app. Eh? <clears throat> Beautiful. Let's read this. Good evening, London. It's nine o'clock, and this is the voice of fate broadcasting on 275 and 285 in the medium wave. It is the 5th of the 11th, 1997. Jordan Tower. The weather will be fine. The weather will be fine until 12.07 a.m. when a shower will commence, lasting until 1.30 a.m. There's a CTV camera there that says, for your protection. It's barbed wiring. A whole bunch of people lined up. Here's a close-up of the CTV, All right? The temperature will vary between 13 and 14 degrees Celsius degrees centigrade throughout the night for your protection. Ah, check this out. He's got a signed Lloyd here, I believe. No, it's not. What does that say? I believe that's Lloyd. The people of London are advised that the Brixton and uh, Stratham areas are quarantined, quarantine Z, quarantine zones as of today. It is suggested that these areas be avoided for reasons of health and safety. Productivity reports from here for here fortshire indicate a possible end to meat rationing starting from mid-february 1998 this good news follows similar announcements concerning the Increase produ production of both eggs and potatoes. Police raided seven homes in the Birmingham area early this morning, uncovering what is believed to be a major terrorist ring. Look at all those signs. What do those say? White heat. Al Cagney, son of Frankenstein. Twenty people, twenty people, eight of them women, are currently in detention awaiting trial. I believe that's a visa. It is V's uh, sort of uh, hideout. See the mask there and the hair on the desk, right? Trippy carpeting. Lettering, Jenny O'Connor. For Vendetta. Let me show you the page. Right. 
Queen Zara today appear, appeared at the opening of a new uh, his has wait, waste reclaimment waste reclaimment plant in Plastony Plasto. This was the Queen's first public appearance since her 16 16 birthday in June. The Queen was wearing a suit 16th hmm, birthday in June. The Queen was wearing a suit of peach silk created specially for the occasion by the royal uh, courtier. In his speech today, Mr. Adrian Carroll, party minister for industry, stated that Britain, Britain's industrial prospects are brighter than at any, any time since the last war. Mr. Carroll went on to say that it is the duty of every man in this country to seize the initiative and make Britain great again. And that is the face of London tonight. We remind you that tomorrow is the final date for the co um, completion of your census forms. And the target date for the conclusion of the Deptford Marsh clearance project this is the voice of fate signing off have a pleasant evening chapter one the villain Parliament's cold shadow fills on Westminster, falls on Westminster Bridge, and she shivers there. And she shivers. There was power here once, power that decided the destiny of millions. Here she comes, right? Her transactions, her decisions are insignificant. They affect no one. Mister, she says. Accept her. Oh, would, would you like to uh, sleep with me or anything? I mean, uh, for money? Oh, she's so young. Oh, that's her right there. In desperation, she's selling herself, right? Here's her putting on the makeup right. at the beginning stages of putting on her makeup. When she's gotten dressed, right? And then she's got the rouge on. She looks like a doll here. Right. The 
that's the clumsiest clumsiest piece of prostituting I ever heard you've not been doing this very long have you oh god I must be really terrible yeah you're right it's my first night you're my first customer he says customer yeah she replies I, I've got a job in munitions but the money is you know it isn't enough look mister I really need the money I'd be okay I mean I'm 16 I know what I'm doing she says no you don't know what you're doing he's reaching in his pocket in his jacket Because if you did, you would have have picked, you wouldn't have picked a vice detail on stakeout. Oh Christ, you're a finger man, she says. That's right. And these are my colleagues. Uh, there's a couple of people coming in from the back. Strength through purity purity through faith the poster says you know the laws of prostitution that's a class H offense that means we get to decide what happens to you that's our prerogative oh no look please mister it was my first time I'll do anything anything you want please don't kill me You've got it wrong, miss. You, you'll do anything we want, and then we'll kill you. That's our prerogative. Oh, oh please, don't. Oh, Jesus, no, please. Look at her, she's totally frightened. Terrified. Absolutely. The multiplying villains of nature do swarm upon him. Who the? Oh, there's a whole bunch of the finger men. There's like five of them there. Look at that. Yeah, there's a lot of them there. And V enters the scene. The multiplying villainies of nature do swarm upon him. And fortune on his damn quarrel, smiling, showed like a rebel's whore. Who's he? One of the finger men says. I don't know. Must be some kind of retard got out of hospital you know hey you but all's too weak for brave macbeth well he deserves the name what are you doing the finger man says you're in trouble chum big trouble this woman is a criminal we're police officers she's wanted for 
interrogation. So keep your <laughs> hands off. <sighs> Up here, when the guy grabbed the V's hand, it was a fake hand. Just pull it off, right? And V's ready to go. Disdaining fortune with his brandish steel, which smoked with bloody execution. Oh, look at that, he's taking him out, and the guy's still holding a hand. That's how fast he is. Like Valor's minion carved out his passage till he faced the slave oh she says which near shook hands nor bade farewell to him. Ah, oh, he's got smoke coming out of his hand. Right. Oh, it's tear gas. Look at this. Tear gas, cough. Holy Christ, it's tear gas. That's the cop saying that. Look at that. They're choking. Nice. And V's carrying her away like a bat. <laughs> oh. I got his hand. What shall I do with his? It was a bomb look at that oh Christ one of the cops says the other cops are like burning look at that oh they're terrified what the hell happened he just came out of nowhere and just what the hell happened that they're watching the colleague burn nice nice no mercy look at that they're all like freaking out and V's already on his way out that's it Frank's dead they're all dead oh Christ what are we what are we going to do oh look at this V took out three of them so the guy holding the thing of holding his hand died blew up burned and these two guys also got taken out so there's only two out of five left right look at this so these two guys right here those are the two that got taken out right away. They're dead. One motion. Boom, boom. Right. No mercy. Find him. We've got to find him. Or the head will, will have our guts. How did he do it? I never seen anybody move so fast. He killed Frank. That bastard. We've got to find him. You. You rescued me. Like in a story. I don't believe it. Who are you? She says.
Me? I'm the king of the 12th century. I'm the boogeyman, the villain, the black sheep of the family. Uh, yeah, but where were you doing around? What were you doing around here? I didn't think anybody came to Westminster at night except, you know, women. Ah, uh, but tonight is special. Tonight is a celebration of grand opening, a grand opening. Were you never taught the, the rhyme? He asks. Remember, remember the fifth of November, the gunpowder treason and plot. I know no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. Boom. I did that, he says. Oh, oh, the Houses of Parliament, they've, they've been, did you do that? I did that, he says. Look at her. But that, that's against the law. They'll kill you. They'll, did you really do that? I really did that. Now hush, there's more. The rumble of the explosion has not yet died away. As far as from far below comes the rattle of smaller reports. And suddenly the sky is alight with V. Fireworks, real fireworks. Oh God, they're so beautiful, she says. Look at her. That's a child in her coming out, right? She's so excited. The innocence of it all. And all over London, windows are thrown open and faces lit with awe and wonder. Gaze at the omen scrambled in fire on the night. There, the overture is finished. Come. We must prepare for the first act. Me, but, oh, okay. It is precisely 12.07 a.m. It begins to rain.
November the 6th, 1997. It is 6 th 6.30 in the morning. I will hear your reports now, gentlemen. Mr. Hare will speak for the eye. We have just under three minutes on usable footage, leader. The large majority of our uh, video recorders were damaged in the explosion. To my left is an enlargement of the suspect's face. I'm afraid the mask makes uh, retinal identification impossible close up if you please mr high higher hair higher mr higher hair no mr hair we'll pronounce it mr hair ah thank you mr hair my and entridge will now speak for the ear mr entridge will now speak for the ear uh, phone surveillance indicates that a large portion of the hs hh people are talking about the uh, explosion that's inside London all suspect suspect or significant transcripts are being forwarded to mr. Uh, almond at the finger mr. almond is with me at present I shall inform him mr. Finch will speak for the nose we found a device probably used to launch the fireworks and some spent casing individually weighted flares at a at a guess despite despite the sophistication i should say that the device was almost certainly homemade and thus untraceable sorry leader nothing else yet thank you mr finch the three of you will inform me of any further developments and await my directive england prevails gentlemen well we have heard from the rest of the head that leaves you mr almond three finger men were killed last night by one solitary lunatic it is also highly probable that the same person had earlier planted an explosive device of start of startling capa capabil capability within the houses of parliament leader you will be silent mr almond your incompetence has cost us our oldest symbol of authority and a jarring propaganda defeat do you understand what happened last night someone someone did the unthinkable someone hurt us and you allowed them to do it 
I went, I want this creature and his associate found Mr. Almond. I want his head. Or by God, I'll have yours instead. You will consult Mr. Des Descom Descombi at Jordan Tower before making any official uh, pronouncements. That will be all, Mr. Almond. England prevails. England prevails, leader. Jordan Tower, 7 o'clock. Of course you did, Lewis. We all got up early this morning, didn't we? Now if we can just run through it once more before we put it in the can, then. Ah, uh, excuse me for a moment, Lewis. Who's that at the door? Put your trust in fate. Huh. Poster. Derek, we don't see you down here in the mouth very often. Oh, down in the mouth. I could have made a joke out of that, couldn't I? You have done the scumbies several. You have done the scumby several times. What's fate putting out? On the parliamentary bombing well fate wants us to say it was a scheduled demolition undertaken at night to avoid traffic uh, congestion it's going out on the eight o'clock broadcast I was just running through it with Lewis when you came in Lewis he asks Lewis Prothero he does the voice the voice of fate chapter 2 the voice good morning London this is the this is the voice of fate broadcasting on 275 and 285 meters in the medium wave. Hmm. What are you saying about the fireworks? Fate doesn't think we should mention the fireworks. If anyone asks later, we'll say it was a freak effect of the blast. Listen to Lewis. Isn't he marvelous? If fate really had a vo voice, it would sound just like, like that. If only people knew what a good job he's doing. Don't be stupid, Descombe. The whole idea is that people think it's fate talking. It makes fate appear more human, gives people confidence. Hmm. He collects dolls, you know. Wouldn't think it, th think it, would you? Big man like that, collecting dolls. He's sensitive, you know, you see. You can tell by his voice. Yes, a lot of the media people are sensitive aren't sensitive aren't you i don't know why the leader tolerates you my dear derek the leader is the most sensitive of us all in fact 
when you'd finished explaining how a lone lunatic could kill three fingermen and blow up parliament i should imagine he was very sensitive You're a degenerate, the scumby. <sighs> Look at that. Come on. Get the camera to focus. Your bitter almond. Bitter almond. Oh dear me. Ha <laughs> ha If you've ever bitten a, eaten a bitter almond, you know what that means. Please yourself. All right, Lewis. From from the top. Bitter almond, oh dear me, <laughs> he's laughing. The shadow gallery, this is V's uh, hideout. Look at that. Look at all the books, all the collectibles, right? Don't look, I don't want to sound ungrateful. I mean, after you rescued me but i didn't i don't understand any of this who who are you or what you want or anything i mean i know you must have had a reason for bl blindfolding me when you brought me here but couldn't you just tell me where we are are we still in london We are in the shadow gallery. This is my home. Do you like it? I built it myself, you know. He replies, it, it's unbelievable. All these paintings and books. I didn't even know there were things like this. You couldn't be expected to know. They have eradicated culture, tossed it away like a fistful of dead roses. Look at all the books, all the books, all the films, all the music. Let's read the titles of some of these books. What are they? Shakespeare, Divine Comedy, French Revolution. Night's Entertainment, Essays of Elijah, Gulliver's, that's Gulliver's Travel. That's cool. The music is beautiful. You must think I'm really stupid. All I've ever heard is the military stuff they play on the radio but all this stuff on your jute box sounds so i don't know alive what's this playing now the woman's voice doesn't even sound english it's not and the word is jukebox with a J. Oh yeah, she said du duke box. <laughs> this song is called Dancing in the Streets. It's been sung by Martha and the Vandellas. Perhaps the term 
tamla motion is familiar to you? Tamla. Tamla Motown. Tamla Motown is familiar to you. Obviously not. Hardly surprising, I suppose, after all. They eradicated some cultures more thoroughly than they did others. No Tamla and no Trojan. No Billy Holiday or Black Uru. Just his master's voice every hour on the hour. Well, we'll have to see what we can do about that. Sorry, this compartment is full. Full? Don't be ridiculous, man. It's empty apart from you three. There's plenty of. I said it's full, craphead. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Didn't realize. Full, yes, of course, full. This is a 12, uh, 1230 uh, train or subway, right? We will blocked, Ted. Can't have the car carriage full of civilians. Civilians don't appreciate uh, trains takes a military man to appreciate trains like dolls your average citizen does not give a monkeys monkeys about dolls no no appreciation you see did I tell you I collect dolls George uh, yes mr. Prothero I think you may have mentioned it once or twice very interesting interesting that's ex exactly right mind you you're a military man ask your average citizen he'd say dolls were for poof poofas ignorant you see Myself, I've always been a ladies' man. Tales I could tell you about when I was in a in an in Aden. I remember once Porky Apple Appley and myself met these two native native gels. Jesus Christ, what the hell is that? That's a V they're seeing on the train. From the train. He's on the building right now. What was that? What was what? He asks. Just before we went into the tunnel, 
I thought I saw someone up on the bridge. I don't know. It could have been rags. Caught on the fence or something, I suppose. Hmm. So anyway, we both had a few tinctures by that time. And Porky says to one of these local bits, the eldest gel, I think it was, he says, excuse me, Mr. Prothero. Ted, did you just hear something? A bang on the roof of the train? That's a conductor right below him, right? Looks like it. I say, we're stopping and we're stopping. Is everything all right? Do you think? I don't uh what's happened to the lights oh bloody hell V's taking out the conductor stopping the train right shouldn't worry if I were you lads British rail acting up again the light will be back on in a minute you'll see now as I was saying there was Parky with one hand just a minute mr. Profer Prothero shooters out Ted just in case I'm sorry, Mr. Porthero. Please go on. They got their guns drawn. He's got his gloves on, his cape. And so the eldest gel says with a monkey should bloody coco ha 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 good one eh hmm hmm they do seem to be taking their time don't they perhaps you should go and have a word with the driver George 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 don't take offense George it was just a naughty yarn we're all men of the world eh, George George oh my god Ted is George he's Ted V's just taking out the two guards. Right. Hello. <laughs> Got to love the entrance. Got to love the entrance. Right. The facial expressions are amazing. Amazing. David Lloyd. Wow, wow, wow. Horror. And look at this one, just pure pleasure, right? Oh, there's another panel. Splash. 
Flash page, the train. I'm assuming that's the compartment they're in. November 6, 1997. So let's just hear it once more in your own words. The train entered the tunnel and then what? There's questioning happening in the, in the building there, right? The bubbles, the word balloon is coming out of there. Well, I mean, it's difficult to say. It all happened so quick, didn't it? I didn't actually hear anything. Just sort of caught something moving out the corner of my eye. And by then, it was all over. Won it. Could you give us a description of your attacker? Height, dress, anything like that? Well, it was just sort of black. Know what I mean? Just this big black shape coming at me from the side window of the cab. And it had a face, only not a proper face. See? Ain't it? Ain't it? Ain't, ain't it? Was smiling, and it was smiling. I see. And then what happened? Did it hit you? Strike you in any way? No, I mean, that was the funny bit. It just sort of touched me up here in my neck, on my neck. I felt this, it was like an electric shock, sort of. And then I just passed out. and came to an hour l later when the security force arrived on the scene i see well i think that's about it mr bishop the officer will take your address in case we need to contact you thank you for your trouble well mr finch what do you think? Is it the same bloke who did the parliament bombing or what? I hope so, Dominic, because if it's not, then there must be two of them. And that's possibly, I, and that's a possibility I rather not consider without a stiff drink to hand. me neither mr finch what exactly are we up against here who is this character i mean all this business about boarding moving trains is like something out of the pictures normal people can't do things like that You're right, Dominique. Or knock out a 13 stone train driver by touching him lightly on the neck. Normal people can't do things like that. In fact, I don't think it's going too far to say that most normal people have never even considered blowing up the houses of parliament. So what we're up against is someone who isn't normal people either physically or mentally it's the mentally bit that bothers me
because if I'm going to crack this case and I am I'm going to have to get right inside his head to think the way he thinks and that scares me ah here we are anything been touched in there he asks no sir everything's as we found it when we've when we got the train out of the tunnel chapter three victims look at them that's the two guards i believe that are dead Hmm. We'll need some photographs of this chest wound. It wasn't a knife or bullet that did it that did this. In fact, I've got a nasty suspicion that whoever did did that did it with their fingers. Damned if you I know. Get a photograph of it and let me have some paint scrappings scrapping for analysis oh he's asking what do you make of this oh i forgot that word for long. take a look at this thing so in this one mr finch is saying what was mr finch saying in fact i've got a nasty suspicion that whoever did that did it with his fingers and then his assistant what do you make of this mr finch we didn't even notice it or i didn't even notice it there's the v right beautiful panel work by the way right shows it from this side and then they look back at the wall at the v damned if i know get a photograph of it and let me have some paint scrappings for analysis that's what he was looking at perhaps the forensic people back at the nose will be able to tell us something about something although frankly i doubt it other than that just the usual stuff dust the cartridge uh, carriage for dabs get a path path report on the bodies fate will want a copy remember hello what's this oh they found a rose on the seats a rose violet Carson Rose funny I thought they'd be extinct since the war they've been extinct since the, since the war our friend in the mask has got quite a thing about the letter V wouldn't you say oh the letter V violet Carson a rose a violet Carson okay and unless we find the body in the next couple of hours, it looks like he's got Louis Prothero as well. Blowing up the House of Parliament, kidnapping our top broadcaster. Do you think he's trying to tell us something? I don't know sir Jesus Christ what he's done to those men I've seen worse Dominique physically speaking like I say it's the mental side that bothers me his attitude to killing think about it he killed them ruthlessly efficiently and with a minimum of fuss whatever their faults those were two human beings and he slaughtered them like cattle oh, 
Chipnapped, the broadcaster, the shadow gallery is locking them up. a TV series or a movie in the background there's actually a comic book called The Cat and the Marx Brothers cool Wakiki Wedding <laughs> I think that's the girl passed out in front of the mirror on the desk Beautiful, beautiful artwork. You see V in the front, the girl sitting on a chair passed out, and you see V in the reflection. Beautiful work, beautiful work. Absolutely beautiful art. Oh, she wakes up. She's been crying, I think. Look at that, right? What's this? What's this? I, I'm sorry. You startled me. I didn't hear you come in. She says. Nobody ever does. You've been crying. V asks. Yes. Don't take any notice of me. I'm a baby, she says. It was when you went out earlier on and didn't say where you where didn't say where you were going i thought i didn't think that's it i mean she's lost i was scared you wouldn't come back i know i'm stupid but my life suddenly become very strange i don't know what's happening anymore last night those men they were going to they said they'd kill me and you rescued me you rescued me and brought me to this fantastic place and it's so beautiful and it makes me feel so safe and and i didn't even know what your name is i don't have a name you can call me V. What shall I call you? He asks. My name is Eve. Evie Hammond. I'm nobody. Nobody special. Not like you. everybody's special everybody everybody is a hero a lover a fool a villain everybody everybody has their story to tell even every hammond even even evie hammond i should very much like to hear evie hammond's story V asks but there's nothing to tell I'm only 16. I haven't done anything. 16? Then you were born in 1981. V 
he asks. Yes, in September, we used to live on Shooter's Hill in South London. It was nice there. I've got a photograph if you want to see. She goes to her purse. Ah, oh, there's her photograph of family. Just me and mom and dad. I didn't have any brothers or sisters. Dad said he couldn't afford any more kids. This was during the recession of the 80s. what the shirt says that's shirt maybe it's just art yeah I don't remember much about that I know that said things didn't get much better when labor labor got into power he said that the only election uh, promise that they kept was getting rid of the american missiles that were stationed over here and the war evie do you remember the war v asks of course i do i was only seven but i remember when the news came over the radio dad kept on kept telling mom not to worry he was scared to death it was about the pol it was about poland and the russians wasn't it and president kennedy said he'd use the bomb if they didn't get out that's what dad told me It was horrible nobody knew if Britain would get bombed or not I remember mom saying Africa's not there anymore that's all she said I thought about all the lions and elephants being dead it made me cry I was only seven but Britain didn't get bombed not that it made much difference all the bombs and things had done something to the weather something bad i remember one day dad called mom mom and me into the back bedroom he said he wanted to show us something we could see right across london from the bedroom window it was nearly all underwater the Thames barrier had burst the sky was all yellow and black I've never seen a sky like that like it dad said London was finished he wanted to take mom and me to the country mom wouldn't go just as well I suppose it turned out that the countryside was worse than the towns the weather had destroyed all the crops see and there was no food coming from Europe because Europe had gone like Africa I didn't like to think about the next four years we got we got together with some neighbors in a protection committee it didn't help much there was no food and the sewers were flooded and everybody got sick 
Mom died in 1991. Dad wouldn't let, a, let me see her. She's hugging him. And he's preventing her from seeing her body. There were riots and people with guns. Nobody knew what was going on. Everyone was waiting for the government to do something. But there wasn't any government anymore. Just lots of little gangs all trying to take over. And then in 1992, somebody, somebody finally did. It was all the fascist groups, the right, right wingers. They'd all got together and some of the big corporations that has survived. Norse fire, they called themselves. I remember when they marched into London, they had a flag with their symbol on. Everyone was cheering. I thought this was great. They were crazy. There's their flag with the N on there. Look at that. I thought they were all crazy, she says. They soon got things under control, but then they started taking people away. All the black people and the Pakistanis. White people too. All the radicals and the men who, you know, liked other men. The homosexuals I don't know what they did with them all dad had been in the socialist group when he was younger they came for him one September morning in 1993 it was my birthday. I was 12. I never saw him again. They made me go and work in a factory with a lot of other kids. We were putting matches into a box. I lived in a hostel. It was cold and dirty. And I just used to cry all the time. I wanted my dad. Check out the name of the box on the box matches Lucifer. Huh. And there's their person watching over them, right? That's how it was for four years. Not enough food, not enough money. Some of the older girls made money going with men. That's what I was going to do last night but they were fingermen they were going they were going to they were going to ru, ru, they were going to ru. Hush, child, hush. It's over now. You're safe. The past can't hurt, hurt you anymore. Not unless you let it. They made you into a victim, Evie. They made you into a, into a statistic, st statistic. But that's not the real you. That's not who you are inside. Just trust me, Evie. 
and we can wipe it all away all the pain all the cruelty all the all the bere bereavement we can start again there you see he's looking in the mirror wiping her tears away the mascara that's run over her all gone he says but there's still a little bit of tear there and evie hammond sobs like the child she is sobs because all because at long last her nightmare is over now lewis prothero on the other hand uh, where am i what happened and what am i wearing this uniform lock hill resettlement camp oh my god he says his nightmare is only just beginning. Look at that. Just pure fear. Right? Just pure fear. November the 7th, 1997, the leader and Mr. Finch, I think he's a psychopath leader. I use the word in its most precise sense. I see, then we can't assume that code name V will, will be, behave like a con, con, conventional terrorist. We can't assume that he will eventually issue a set of demands or ask for the usual concessions. I don't think he's out for concessions, leader. I think he's out for blood, Mr. Finch says. Then he's certainly, certainly getting it, isn't he, Mr. Finch? He's blown up the Houses of Parliament, dispatched five of Mr. Almond's fingermen, and now he's abducted Ed, our top broadcaster. If Prothero is unavailable to make his voice of fate broadcast as scheduled, our credibility will suffer. Two days, Mr. Finch. That's all it, it's taken him. Couldn't Mr. Uh, Dascombi arrange a stand-in for Pro, Pro, Prothero leader oh yes but the problem is that Mr. Dascombi is too good at his work the people actually believe that the voice of Louis Prothero is that of the fate computer Britain's belief in the integrity of fate in the cornerstone of our new is the cornerstone of our new order any chance in any change in the voice and it just wouldn't be the same so he represents the voice of a computer an ai system that's supposed to be governing britons believe in the integrity of faith faith is the cornerstone of our new order let's read that panel again oh yes but the problem is that mr Descombi is too good at his work the people actually believe that the voice of lewis prothero 
is that of the fake computer. Wow, wow, wow. I see from a propaganda angle we've been put in a bit of a spot haven't we although personally I don't go much for this new order business it's just my job to help Britain out of this mess you already know that leader indeed I do mr. Finch you have expressed such sentiments before that you are still alive is a mark of my respect for you and your craft leave me now there are many problems to consider I wish to speak with fate England prevails mr. Finch England prevails leader The Shadow Gallery, Evie Hammond. Hmm. I think V is uh, changing his outfit, right? Oh, Evie's sitting there. V? Mm hmm. V replies. Oh, uh, nothing. I was just trying to get used to saying it out loud v it's a funny thing to call yourself i'm a funny person evie you'll find that out when you've known me longer a very funny person indeed you're a kind person listening to me telling you my sob story all about the war and mom and dad all about my stupid life what are you going to do V the world is so big and horrible and there's just you and me I suppose she whispers that part Hal Monty Oracle wise you and me Evie you and me against the world ha 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 melodrama Evie isn't it strange how life turns into melodrama that's very important to you isn't it all that theatrical stuff she says it's everything Evie the perfect entrance the grand illusion it's everything and I'm going to bring the house down, V says. They've forgotten the drama of it all. You see, they abandoned their script when the world withered in the glare of the nuclear foot footlights. I'm going to remember them about melodrama. I'm going to remind them about melodrama, about the penny brush and the penny dreadful you see Evie all the world's a stage and everybody else everything else there's Macbeth <laughs> look at his outfit and everything else is Vavadi Vav everything else is vadivil <laughs> if he's like what the, what the hell is that look at his outfit and he's got his mask on too the shadow gallery Louis Prothero hero I say is there anybody there hello I say is there anybody there not hero hello right. 
Chapter 4 Vadivil Look at that. Characters we've seen that are dressed like that. One main character, right? He is funny. Ha 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 ha. The Joker. Very cool. Very cool indeed. <laughs> Look at her face. She's like, oh my. suppose you think all this is bloody funny all this resentment camp malarkey resettlement camp malarkey all this putting me in a uniform well all I can say is that you've got the damn queer sense of humor damn queer you've got the wrong man chummy the resettlement camps mean bugger all to me bugger all you've got the wrong man oh god is there anybody there good morning campers <laughs> there's V he's got the spotlight on him Uniform all brushed, pressed, and ready for duty, I see. Good man, Commander Prothero. Prothero, good man. Let's get to work, shall we? These concentration camps, sorry, these resettlement camps don't run themselves, do they? Look, I didn't know who you don't know who you are or how you got this bloody silly idea into your bonnet but you've got the wrong man I'm a broadcaster I didn't have anything to do with the con with the resettlement camps I uh Lark Hill 1993 I was there commander Prothero You were the, oh God, he says. Look smart, Commander. We've got to make the, the tour of inspection now. You remember? The way you used to make it every evening back in the good old days. Oh God, he says. All coming back to you huh the main body of the prisoners would be gathered in the yard awaiting your inspection you simply had to walk from your office down past the past the Nissen huts turn the corner laid out and there they were there's a whole bunch of dolls just all lined up oh what a crazy person that's why he probably collects dolls look at that my dolls that's part of my doll collection how did you they were all safely locked away when I left for work yesterday what are you doing with my dolls look at that he's freaking out my god if you've damaged any of them they're priceless hardly any of the big collections survived the war if you've damaged them 
admirable concern, Commander. Yet is, yet is, deuced odds, odd, isn't it? How much can, how you can show so much concern for porcelain and plastic? V says. and show so little for flesh and blood do you remember commander do you remember when it was people gathered in this sordid little in enclosure people half dead with starvation and this the century thy century look you know as well as i do we had to do what we did all the darkies the nanny boys and the beatniks it was us or them us or them don't you understand he says perfectly come along commander your tour isn't over yet there are still the special prisoners to see the ones in the medical compound just along here this is where you kept the ones who taken part in your scientists experiments I believe they used to they used to call them you had to walk past this row of doors every night room one room two room three room four room five room five V. Room five, but that was where they kept, where they kept. Oh no, that was you, wasn't it? You're you're the man, you're the man from room five. Oh, and V's grin. That's right. I remember you used to call out to us sometimes little jokes you had a special name for the medical block you used to call it the funny farm remember what a good voice you had I imagine that's why they picked you to do the fate broadcast a man of many talents huh commander and then of course there was that other little job you used to do the ovens commander you used to work the ovens wow he set up the whole stage look at that remember you used to call out oh we read that part the ovens let's go back oh the dolls are in there oh no he says check that out oh no my dolls please you can't please i'm begging you please ma, 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 ma. all the voices of the dolls right mama Mama, mama, not my dolls. Ignition. He burns.
There's all the dolls. Look at that. Look at that. Ba, 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 ba. And he's got more waiting on the side here. Mama, the eyes melting. No, he says. Ah. New Scotland Yard later. Huh? Oh, hello, Sarge. It's never the end of my shift already, is it? I was just... It's just V touching the guy on the shoulder. sergeant yes this is godard at the front could you get out here quickly please yes i think it's an emergency yes i've got something out here no i'm not sure what Jordan Tower, Roger Descombe. Who? Haven't I told you that I mustn't be disturbed while... Oh, it's you. Good old bitter almond. Do come in. If you've come to tell me what a thoroughly miserable job you've made of uh, finding poor Lewis, then spare me the agony. I expect as much. Oh no, the contrary, Roger, old boy. We found him. You, I don't believe it. Wheel, wheel him in, boys. Oh, we found him, all right. Or at least we found what's left of him. Mama, he's saying, totally mentally shattered. Lewis, that's all he said for the past three hours. Good luck with tonight's broadcast, Roger, old boy. Mama, Mama, Mama. The voice of fate is recorded 48 hours in advance. The pre-recordings ran out at 10 o'clock. It is now 11. Good evening, London. This is the voice of fate broadcasting on uh, 275 and 285 in the medium wave. And the capital listens. There's something wrong. There's something wrong with the voice of fate. Such a small thing to cast, such a long and uneasy shadow over the future. For whatever the future holds, one thing is certain. It just won't be the same. Right. Awesome.
look at this. Ver. V. E. R. I don't know what that is, the last letter. Was that also present in the front that we missed? No, there wasn't. This is Jordan Tower in the front. And we've got Jordan Tower in the back as well, but it's zoomed out a little bit, right? I can't remember if the following uh, issues have the same luck. Right. That was a fantastic read. That was a fantastic read. And uh, the story unfolds differently than the movie. The theme is there, but Evie is made to appear to be more dignified than a 16 year old going off for the first time to sell her body to be able to buy food, pay rent, right? Beautiful book, beautiful reading. Wow, wow, wow. I had read this a long, long time ago. I had totally forgotten how incredible it was. Right? Totally awesome. Totally awesome. And I highly recommend if you like that issue, you can buy all issues, all of the V for Vendetta story as a trade paperback if you like. And of course, uh, they are available to be bought as back issues, but they are expensive. Okay. But they are expensive. Well, you can buy reader copies if you like. There's nothing like holding a comic book at this caliber in your hands and reading it. Absolutely magnificent. I hope you enjoyed, gang. That was a great read. Fantastic read. A good read for our times, I would say. A good read for our times. And if you like it, I hope you track the rest of the story down and have a read through it right fantastic gang I'm gonna go back to chat okay I'm gonna turn on my camera and uh, turn on the chat let's turn on the chat first looks like there's a lot of discussion being taking place chat bomb that was a great read what a read what a read right yeah i'm not gonna i can't go back and read all the chat i hope you guys enjoyed gang i hope you guys enjoyed that was fun that was fun what a beautiful panel with v with evie just jumping down and v catching her right in the silhouette absolutely beautiful chicho i found a local comic shop and i'm going to start collecting you have really opened my eyes to the beautiful stories and com i'm very happy darth okay and i'm sorry it's gonna cost you money so start putting money aside okay but i'm glad uh that you're enjoying these to a level that you're gonna start enjoying this medium it's it's underappreciated as far as I'm concerned. As you can tell, if you've seen the V for Vendetta movie, it is absolutely magnificent. It's a great movie. But the comic books, they're something else. With all medium, all written work and stories and poetry and comic books that have turned into movies, the original source is usually much more superior to the new renditions of the stories right v for vendetta is one of them okay salawaski welcome to our live stream i hope you enjoy thank you cheryl my pleasure i'm very glad I like the other all the other comics but I think this was a good read for our times okay 
I think this was a good read for our times. The Black Tristar. There's always so much more in comics, so much more. And the panel work and the background information, right? I love the read, Elder God says. So glad it wasn't the Mario creature. He's a creature, right? Mario? No, he's a, he's, a, he's a plumber, Mario. Cyberpunk, the story in the comic was way better than the movie, to be honest. Uh, Cyberpunk, I agree. The story in the comic is way more powerful than the movie. The movie is brilliant, fantastic, but it has gone through Hollywood. It has the filters on. It is not as raw. It is not as pure. It is not as real, right? It is a fairy tale. And we know that from the first get go. Evie in V for Vendetta is a 16 year old selling her body to be able to live, to be able to buy food, pay rent. She is a child becoming a prostitute. In the movie, she's working in the industry in the film industry in the movie industry trying to make her way up the ladder that is capitalism this is survival different game different game okay i read it back in 1989 cyberpunk says when it came out the 10-part series awesome yep was awesome awesome i'm glad you guys enjoyed oh god to think next time it would be mario <laughs> why not or it could be the cult or it could be one of the other five comics we have right what a magnificent comic never read this before on charter days we'll definitely get the trade and if possible at some point pick up the issues awesome on charter days movies are limited with budget unfortunately and black star uh, black tristar is not just budget budget it's the filters right it's the filters right hollywood filters capital filters mm. we won't go into the politics of it the movies are limited with yeah i think i think no matter how popular comics have been are will come become they are always underappreciated generally i agree visually interesting i agree extremely underappreciated Okay. Zoot says, Cheryl went into my first comic store last month because of watching Chicho. Felt like a fish out of water. Everything I wanted was very expensive. I pictured my new puppy turning it into confetti. Yeah, Zoot, listen, anybody that's getting a new into comics find yourself a comic store where you feel comfortable it's it's a it's a business it's an industry it's like going to restaurants right some restaurants you like the the people that are running the restaurants some restaurants you don't right some restaurants serve this more some restaurants serve that more so find a place where you're comfortable if you feel overwhelmed ask for help go online there's a lot of comic book people that are that are out there to help people discover comics for the first time right that's the main catalyst the main reason i started to create comic book videos to share my love of comics right and there are many many other people that are doing the same okay don't be discouraged if you have some bad experiences find what you love it's part of a treasure hunt it's part of life experience really I guess the parallel with uh, Evie prostitute versus movie is still selling herself to get higher. It is. It is. So the theme, the background is still there, but it is not as brutal, right? The V, if you, like I did the whisper reading of Valerie's letter, right? Uh, that Evie reads that V, I'm not going to give a spoiler, but there's a, I did a whisper reading of Valerie's letter take a look at that video valerie's letter and listen to valerie's letter in the movie it's different there are subtle differences right i won't go into the detail of the subtle differences but one of the 
more um, differences is that in the comic book because she is writing on limited space it's very rough it's raw it cuts short ends in the movie it's more fluffed out right it's different it's different Cheryl says zoot no doubt as much as I think it's important to support the local stores check your local library I agree with that as well and libraries by the way I'm cutting that Cheryl's comment short a little bit but I'll read it libraries buy the rights to have the books in their in their collection for people to read so as they get checked out the the artists the creators do get more credit right I've read a lot of comic books from the library trade paperbacks I read all of Transmetropolitan in, in uh, from the library. I read a huge chunk of Why uh, the Last Man from the library. A lot of comic books from the library. A lot of Lone Wolf and Cub manga from the library. Absolutely brilliant. They often have a decent selection of trade paperbacks, Cheryl says. It's a great way to try different genres and see what you really like and what may be worth the investment for back issues. It also provides a great place to start when asking for recommendations at local stores agreed 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 Mick borders thank you very much for the twitch prime sub elder god I watched on break on break will last night mr. glass would disagree mr. glass is magnificent and I really liked unbreakable toilet mail <laughs> indeed elder god <laughs> libraries are amazing just finished the rereading Batman year one and that is fantastic read it is indeed on Charlie Ace but this might be on another level this is V for Vendetta is one of the great literary works of the 20th century okay in my personal opinion the V for Vendetta superior to the Watchmen okay just slightly but superior to the watchman because it is darker okay it is emotional there's a like really this series just rips through you okay the library in birmingham is the biggest in europe nice has a lot of graphic novels awesome elder god cheryl says elder god ah with john Lugozamo, Lu, yeah. I was thinking of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show with Lou Albano uh, and WWF Superstardom. <laughs> the movie was horrendous. The Mario movie. Gang, should we call the stream? I'm gonna do my little ending. If you want to know what I'm doing, uh, where I am, what I'm sharing, what this is all about, you can find that information on patreon.com patreon.com backslash chicho chycho if you want to support this work patreon is a fantastic way to support this project i don't put anything behind paywalls creative commons share and share alike you can follow the work and if you do like what we're sharing and if you do have the means in the future supporting this work through patreon is a fantastic way to support this project we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv backslash chicho live chy cho live for those of you that are following for those of you who subscribe thank you very much for the follows thank you very much for the subscriptions thank you very much for being here thank you for the bits thank you for the support thank you for the conversations mods thank you for taking care of business very much appreciated very much appreciated we ba, ba, ba. <laughs> lost my thing. Uh, I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Twitter, Gavs, Mines, VK, and Ello. Okay, uh, I do share additional information there. All the links will be in the description of this video once it's uploaded to BitChute and YouTube. For a lot of live streams where we're having open discussions, I will announce I will upload these streams uh, on the audio onto soundcloud.com backslash chicho c h y c h o and we will be uploading this stream this stream this video to youtube and bit shoot okay and you can support this project through 
uh, joining YouTube uh, membership and following subscribing and sharing as well as bit shoot and we will be doing thank you elder god for the reminder we will be doing live streams for the next four days okay tomorrow we're doing a liqueur video we're going to make more liqueur i bought a ton of fruit to make a lot of liqueur i got two 60 ounce bottles of liqueur of vodka so we might go a little ballistic we'll see where it goes i gotta do a lot of fruit washing today to get everything prepped up for tomorrow okay on uh, so we're gonna do a live stream tomorrow that's monday on tuesday we're doing a movie live stream i believe on wednesday i think we're doing uh we're going to talk about COVID 19 or politics and on thursday morning i think we're either doing COVID 19 or politics or whatnot i do announce the live streams on our discord page and on patreon and i do share out the links on twitter gaps minds vk and that little aside from that gang thanks for being here and if you can make it uh I'll see you guys tomorrow during the liqueur live stream. Bye, gang. Fantastic choice. Fantastic choice. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Bye, everyone.